I am getting ready for work and it is right in the thick of thriller a -thon. and I feel a little bit guilty because I was supposed to vlog it like the whole thing and today is day three of <laughs> thriller a -thon, and you're hearing from me for the first time so I'm really sorry about that I just um the first day of thriller a -thon, I was off and I wanted to stay in my jammies and be cozy and wear no makeup and just read. And that was wonderful. So I did that. And then the second day, I just completely forgot to film. So here we are. It's thriller -thon, day three. I've already finished a book. I already finished it. I read Alex first. And this was like nearly 400 pages 360 something pages I enjoyed it I I think I'm gonna give this three stars this is um I should say what it's about it's about oh can you hear Libby barking at people outside she's so in welcoming um, it is about a woman who is kidnapped put into a cage that's like suspended from the ceiling and this man who's kidnapped her just wants to see her die. And we follow her, and then we follow uh, a chief, uh, like a police chief in France, <clears throat> looking for her. And um, for the most part, I liked it. I thought it was really fast paced. Like, I read that in two days. I could not put that book down. <clears throat> but it wasn't perfect. It, um... It was a bit, I don't know, there was like a lot of male gaze in there. There's so much reference to her breasts. And I don't know why we needed to focus on her breasts so much, but it was like awkward to me reading it. I was like, it, it just didn't make any sense. And she would reference her own breasts and thing, which, so many women do. We talk about our breasts all the time. It just... That was sarcasm, if you didn't. You probably noticed that. But it just really kind of annoyed me. Like, I don't know why some male writers think it's okay to... to talk about women's bodies in that way. In a... Um, just like she just seemed like a bit of a piece of meat which was very annoying I hated that so that was like one strike against it there was no way I was gonna give it five stars after that um, and then I there was no way I was going to give it five stars also because of the police part I wasn't really interested in that this is nothing new for me I don't like detectives in thrillers our police people in thrillers I get I feel like it removes me from the story um this is something I'm hoping that I'll find a series that will change all of that I'm really hoping that Kate Atkinson is the one who's going to do that for me who knows but this is the hope but yeah I just it was okay I'm I uh, gave it three stars not two stars because I was like hooked I could not put it down I truly couldn't like I was like flipping the pages so fast it was just so fascinating and like the story would go so quickly and so many twists and turns Pierre Lemaitre he is a genius at that he is such a genius at that there are twists and turns you would never see coming I love that about him so much. Yeah, I really, I really love that about him. But what are you gonna do? It was a three star. I'm gonna be passing that along to someone who might like it. Well, hopefully they don't mind the boob stuff as much as I did. I just don't understand the need to focus so much on a woman's body like over and over again. It's just it's boring it's boring 
Um, so I finished that um, yesterday and I picked up, oh, I picked up uh, an Anya Alborn book and I'm reading The Pretty Girls. No, The Pretty Ones. The Pretty, pretty Girls is from Karen Slaughter. Pretty Ones. It's a novella. It's a, it takes place during the summer of Sam and we're following a woman who is not feeling very, um, she's not feeling a part of the team. She works in an office with these gorgeous women and she doesn't feel like she's one of them. She's definitely an outsider and um, I think she's going to meet the serial killer. I don't even, okay, this is bad. I don't fully know the story of Summer of Sam. I know it took place in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like almost all serial killer things took place in the 70s and a little bit of the 80s. I don't know how our parents had us. I'm I'm a, a child of the 80s. But um, can you imagine having that like in the news every single day? Serial killer stuff and then being like, yes, I think I will have a child. That would be scary beyond belief. Um, but we have just the terrible things in our news, I'm sure. Now, so there is that. But uh, I'm really liking the writing style so far, which is lovely. I'm really, really liking the writing style. It's, um, <clears throat> I'm already drawn in to the character. I, I already care for the character. I don't know what to make of the character quite yet, but I like her. And um, yeah, so far so good. But we shall see. We shall see. So that's what I'm reading right now. I'm sorry that I've, I've taken so much time to start Thrill Earthon. I could have just been doing this yesterday with you guys, you know, but Instead, I completely forgot, but here I am. I will check in soon. Maybe we have to go downstairs. Who is that? Who is that puppy puppy? Last night, I got a package in the mail that made me so excited. There was a book in there that I have been wanting to read and I was hoping would come for Thrillerathon, but it didn't show up. Well, where is it? Oh, it's downstairs. Okay, I'm in the right location now. <laughs> I thought I had brought them upstairs, but no. It's The Hiding Place by CJ Tudor. This is her new novel, she wrote The Chalkman, and I really enjoyed it. I feel like that one was a mixed bag for some people. It started out slow for me, that one, and then it picked up so much that I would, I initially gave it five stars, and then I knocked it down to four, because I was like, I didn't love it all the way through. So, but The Hiding Place is her brand new one, about a man going back to his hometown, don't most thrillers start that way? And his sister went missing, I think. And um, she uh, comes back. And the worst day of his life is not when she went missing, but when she came back. What does that even mean? I don't know. But this is being thrown in now, most likely, to my Thrillerathon plan of attack because. I didn't have that. I'm reading The Pretty Ones right now by Anya Alborn, enjoying it. I didn't read anything yesterday at all. <laughs> but after I finish that, I would be shocked if I didn't pick this up because I enjoy her writing style so much. So I had to share that with you. I am planning on reading tonight. Oh, <gasps> I don't know if I'll be able to bring you along because it's a crazy place, but tonight, Barry and I are going to a book, like a book fair thing. There's this church near where I live and they do this enormous book fair every single year. And I go, well, last year was the first time I went, but I really, really wanna to go tonight 
Today's the first day of it opening and I'm really hoping that I'll find some good things. I'm gonna bring like $20 and 20 or $30 and everything has to come under that. Like I can't buy so many books. My shelves, as you know, can't afford it. They really can't, they have no more room. They're busting at the seams and so, yes. Anyway, I'm so excited, I'm really looking forward to you tonight. I'll try and I'm like make take some videos, but I'm telling you, last year it was like we were sardines, which is not very pleasant. Um, and I remember leaving kind of annoyed because I felt so uncomfortable as an introvert. That is just like overwhelming. So I'm gonna have a really chill night after I go to the fair. I, I'll try to take you. Friday. I didn't bring you along to my little book uh, shopping yesterday. I went to a book fair yesterday. I'm so glad. I, I know this sounds bad, but I'm glad that I forgot my camera at home because it is jam packed. Like you are sardines in this place. I did manage to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. I'm excited about them all. And I'm going to um, be filming my February book haul, which is more than I expected to get this February, but that's okay. This is all fine. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm hoping that I'll be vlogging a lot more this weekend when I can have my mind in the game of vlogging. Um, still reading uh, The Pretty Ones and still really loving her writing. Like, Anya Allborn, I was just telling Julie yesterday, I'm liking her writing so much that I, I'm i so excited because I find it difficult to find new horror authors that I'm going to really like. So this is exciting. It's very exciting. Now I want to read a bunch of her other stuff. And I've already got Within These Walls on my shelves. I think my library has um, The Devil Crept In. So this is all just very good news. Anyway, I'm going to go and film my February book haul. I bought this one for my sister. I was at the the um, book fair thing yesterday and I I started to put books on top so people would see them. There, I saw Tangerine there and like I put it on top like, oh, this is a good one. I hope someone buys it. Does anyone else do that when they're book shopping? I saw this, I started to do that with this, and then I thought I was really hoping that my sister would read this because I think she would like it. My mom would probably like it too, but it was my favorite book of last year, so I picked it up for Rebecca. Um, okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna go and film my February book haul. Bye! Hello guys, it is Saturday afternoon. Afternoon. I have been reading a little bit more of um, pretty the pretty ones and I'm enjoying it but it's not scary yet and I'm gonna keep waiting for it to be scary in any case all as well today Barry and I went out um, just to bring my car in for some work and then we went for breakfast at this old breakfast place that we've never we'd gone to so much like a long time ago when we were first dating and stuff, but we haven't been back and it's so good. Baker Street Cafe, if you're in Ottawa and you have a hankering for breakfast, it's so good. Every time you go by, there's like a lineup out the door. We got there early and there was no lineup and we're like, it must be closed. It's that good. It was not closed. We were just early in a good way. Sorry about Libby in the background. Um, See so yeah, how we did that? And then, well, at this point, you guys will know that I'm pregnant, which is very exciting. I am so happy about it. So we're allowing ourselves now that I'm in the, the second trimester. So like go to little baby shops and like look around and we're just thinking about stuff we want to get at some point. Um, but we went to a little spot called Fab Baby Gear today and that was really nice. And now we're back home and Cozy, cozy. I'm watching Dirty John on Netflix. Have you guys watched that? Because I'm liking it so far. First episode, but I really like both of the actors. 
and I feel like this is promising. It's giving me Big Little Lies vibes, but with a mix of something else. Maybe you, but for an older audience, if that makes any sense. I'm really liking it. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to jump on here and talk to you about is how happy I am about my AJ Thin video. And like, not my video, but the conversations that we're having are really interesting. Like I, not everyone agrees with me and my goodness, like not everyone has to agree with me. It's really interesting to get people's takes on, on all of the drama surrounding AJ Finn right now and just how people just how people have have uh, perceived it some people agree with me and think that you know he has some mental health issues that we might not know about yet um, and we're getting one side um, one person that I, I was really interested one person said that she thought it was actually all self-esteem issues. I thought that was fascinating and I'd never thought of it quite that way before. And then um, many people think he's just a jerk and just, you know, is doing all of this for the money and like doesn't care about who he's hurting. Um, all valid points and it's just really great to have a conversation, um, you know, uh, everyone is allowed to have different opinions, but yeah, I, my plan for tonight is to do a little more reading. I will, I don't think I'm going to be getting to Looker. I was going to read Looker as well as Alex and the pretty ones, but I don't think that's going to happen at this point. Tomorrow is the Oscars, which is a huge deal in my family. Like my dad comes over every um, Oscar night and we we watch the Oscars we try to watch a lot of the Oscar nominations and we have like a whole game and stuff and <laughs> a trophy and it's kind of ridiculous but I kind of love it so tomorrow is all going to be Oscars so I'm kind of going to be cutting um, Thriller-a-thon short so today is pretty much the last day unless I can get some reading in tomorrow morning but yeah so, um, I'm sorry that I feel like this vlog has not been super thrilling. It's been me talking to you guys, but not like showing you my life. Maybe I'll try to do little snippets. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes like I'm just have a hard time getting into vlog mode. I haven't done a vlog in a long time. And so I kind of forget what I'm doing. Um, but yeah. I'll chat with you guys soon. Hi guys. Oh, bangs that are not even. Um, hi guys. Excuse the look of me, the disheveledness, the acne stuff, the bl the eyes that are like dealing with allergies. I um, just recently woke up, it's Sunday morning, but I had to um, film a little bit because I just uploaded our video that I am pregnant. I was just going to say we're pregnant again and I am pregnant. He is not pregnant that I know of. Um, <laughs> and uh, you guys, I'm reading your comments and it's like overwhelmingly lovely. It's so wonderful and like uh, a few of you said that you'd been praying for me and that was so nice that you guys had been doing that and just I just I, I my heart is like bursting and just feel so full so full right now and I love you guys so much thank you so much for um being excited for us we're like extremely excited now that I'm in the second trimester I am all over thinking about the nursery and like thinking about what we're gonna need for this little babe and and just imagining our lives with another person that will mean so much to us in this house and 
this house, like we bought this house and we had a room in mind for, um, for the baby. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Um, and it's literally been empty. That room has been empty and I love this house. Like I, we, we built it. We didn't, I didn't actually get in here with a hammer, but we, we had this house built and we chose all of the things. So like the kitchen and the bathrooms and everything. It was so much fun to do and it's so us. Um, and it's, so it's been very weird feeling like something's missing here, especially that one room. The other rooms, you know, not, not so much, but that one room, I tried to make it my, you know, yoga room and even though I don't do a lot of yoga, but I tried to make it something else and that didn't work. So it's literally just been empty and I would I, I used to like walk past it and, and avoid looking at it because it was so painful and I really didn't know if we were going to be able to stay here if we didn't have a baby in the end because I can't imagine making that room something else I really can't so yeah I'm going to show it to you I'm really excited I'm really excited that we're gonna have a little, a little, a little fart hanging around. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I just wanted to say a little note. Thank you so much for all your well wishes. And I just, I just feel just joyful and really, really appreciative. So I'm gonna show you that little room. So here is the nursery. I don't know why it's so dark. It's like the lightest room in the house. Um, but you come in and it's like this room of windows. I love it. There's a little closet. Probably going to put the nursery um, crib here. And then probably a nice chair right here. I'm out of breath walking up the stairs. And then the um, the um, changing table here. It'll be a dresser with like a changing mat on top. But I'm so excited, and I'm thinking for for um, paint swatches. I'm already there. Do we review a pewter like our bedroom? I think it'll be really calming in here. So this room, I'm telling you. It's, um, it feels wonderful to be in here and excited, but you can see how empty it's been. You can see like me attempting to make it, um, meaningful for myself. I have my yoga mat wash in here and a candle for when I do yoga in here, but it's been empty for three years, but it won't be empty for much longer and I can't wait. It is Oscar day. Barry and I and my dad, we're all going to watch the Oscars together. Oh, and Libby, don't count her out. So we are nearly ready. Barry and I have spent most of the morning and early afternoon watching like trailers because we haven't seen everything and then we've been watching short film documentaries documentary shorts right and then um animated shorts um yeah so we're nearly there we're, my dad is coming really soon and then we're gonna watch a star is born is that what it's called yes a star is born i'm kind of on the fence about what I feel about the whole idea of that movie, but I might love it. You never know. And then we've got our little sheets. We do like a whole competition thing. So this is who will win and we go through and pick who we think is going to win and who we want to win. And sometimes they match up and you get like a certain amount of points for each one. So we do the whole thing. Very exciting. 
I can't wait. Oh, and we have food. Thank you.